All right, guys. So I've taken a picture of the shirt I am using. And I've imported it. I've sized it down. I'm using a 2T Cricut uh, Infusible Ink T-shirts because I have yet to find um, toddler size T-shirts um, at affordable pricing or polyester nonetheless. Um, but anyway, so I've checked the measurements going from tip of the arm to tip of the arm. It is 18 and a half going from top to the very bottom is 16 so I have sized that accordingly I have my photo I'm using a silhouette studio business edition now guys I'm sure there's an easier way I'm currently still learning if you have an easier way drop it in the comments but so far this way works for me until I learn a different way Anyway, if you click on the t-shirt, which let's just say this is the correct size here. I already have it the correct size on my mat, but we're going to pretend this is the correct size. On Silhouette Studio, you'll click Control and the picture you want to merge. And it will fit the entire design on the template. Okay, once you do that. You want to set your page to 13 by 19 or whatever it is that you're printing. Uh, if you're using 8.5 by 11, whatever it is that you're printing. I use this as a guideline because um, this is where the printer will stop printing for the um, edge lines. So I will make a square that mimics that because that's going to be what each paper size is. Okay, so, one moment. All right, once you size that, for instance, I have it here. I'm gonna duplicate it. You want to place Delete. Sorry, guys. All right. You want to place your image and that one paper and align them all the way to the edge, all the way to the top. Then you're going to select the paper and over here on the replicate plant panel you're going to duplicate to right which makes another panel right next to it aligned you're going to send it to the back there you go. I'm going to need two 13 by 19 sheets to complete this, guys. However, I'm going to split it right in the middle versus trying to split it right there. So what I am going to do is delete this. Is take all of this. I'm going to group these two just to ensure they stay. And then we're gonna take this and the papers and align in the center. All right, ungroup it. All right, you've ungrouped it. Now, you're gonna make as many copies of this as as you need so let's say i needed four papers to complete this i will make four copies so i only need two i'm going to make one more copy you're going to select all of it and duplicate okay 
okay now that you have duplicated let me zoom out here so you can see everything all right I just made a change anyway so we are going to delete this one select both of these and over in the modify panel hit wait a minute sorry you want to duplicate the sheet only not the page you'll want to hit crop that's one sheet over here, you're gonna put this one to the side and crop the other side to that sheet in the modify panel. Now you're going to select this sheet and this sheet and align it to the very left. And middle sent to the back the reason we are doing line or white is because it doesn't print white so you want to group this send to the back as well with the other piece you want to align it on the opposite side and center it and center it now you want to group it now that you have your two pieces on the sheet you're going to take one and align it to the middle of the sheet when you zoom in you're going to get the edge of the sheet on the edge and same thing you want to do this and do it to the middle when you after you're done printing one you'll remove it and print the other one so i'm going to hit file print preferences 13 by 19 sublimation and we've sent to the printer Once that is done, you will move this guy out of the way. Hit file, print again. And I'm going to go grab from the printer. So while it's printing, I bought this little cardboard off of um, Michael's, $1.99. You can make it yourself. My husband, I only got it to make a mock-up with it. Um, but it holds the T t-shirts side to side pretty well. It's what I have for right now and it actually works so this is one side printed we are going to cut one side and leave the other side i'm going to show you what i mean now it is best if you have a paper cutter to cut a straight line going all the way through i don't have one of those yet so i'm just currently gonna um 
wing it and hope for the best that I cut straight across. Again, a paper cutter is recommended. You want to ensure there's no white. Now, this is just the design I chose on the whim because I want to practice a little bit. But when I actually go to this design something, I've decided that if it has clouds or any kind of white or any kind of um, smoky overlay to it, that it would be where the arm seams are. So, as you see, I might have left a little bit of white somewhere. It has to be completely gone. Yeah, it's not gonna come out as straight as I wanted it to be, but we'll be all right. So, I am going to face my shirt down and on the opposite side and align the t-shirt. Then I'm going to, uh, that was a bad idea. Bad idea, because now my tape is behind there. Hold on. Now you have to align them to where the picture is aligned. It's about there. Once you have it aligned, as you see, I cut a little bit too much off to moan. That's all right. You're going to tape the top here and the top and the bottom here. All right. So now that we've taped the middle, we have to turn it over and tape the back so that doesn't happen. should be where it needs let's hope because i didn't realign it now guys i could have easily just printed the whole sheet but i wanted to make sure the main characters were within the um shirt so here we are nice and taped to make the shirt okay now face down just because I want to make sure I'm taping it correctly first again guys you're never going to get it super perfect unless you stitch it after it's pressed I was thinking about not doing the arms, but the lion just so and uh, so happens to end up there, so we want to do that. So I'm going to tape the design. Down. Sorry guys, I'm zoning the F off here. Instead of doing what needs to be done. Want to make sure it's taped on all the important sides. Otherwise, it'll shift. Now, with the Cricut shirts, I like to kind of stretch them a little. They're a little weird. 
not my favorite brand t-shirts, but what's out there to say the least. Anyway, ramble, I should have put music on. I'm almost done here. I'll try to fast forward through my bullshit. couple more pieces in the main areas and hope for the best. That would be great. Okay. Alright, so first things first. Because This is a Cricut shirt. We're going to put a piece of parchment paper on the inside. Well, okay, I had to lift that. Just want to pull it up to the neck. All right. I have to adjust the pressure on my press because, of course, that should be all right. I don't know if the one piece of parchment paper is enough at the moment, but we're going to run with it. All right. Now we're going to tape everything. Actually going to cover my little... T-shirt board thingy to ensure it doesn't get right and then this is how we do it to flip it around without moving the shirt too much all right So while I'm on the press, I'm probably going to need to press half and then half. Alright, we're going to press half and then the other half. Wish me luck. Still some imperfections. This was when I pressed. So ideally I'm going to press it and leave the excess press on the back or on the arms. But getting better. Creating designs and sizing. Almost had it. 